Hi guys, this is Hero. How's everyone doing today? So today I'm going over Mercury's transit in the sign of Taurus. Okay, so this occurs between June 7th and June 24th. Now, thing to realize about Mercury, right? You notice that it's always close to the sun. Okay, I'm going to discuss this further in the video, but I just want to make that known because you have to always analyze Mercury in relationship to how the sun's doing and whether it's bef ahead of the sun or behind the sun. So I'm going to get into that in a second. But just real quick, what does Mercury at a glance recognize, I mean, sign signify in Taurus, right? So Mercury, you know, is rational intelligence, okay? Now, when it goes into Taurus, it's basically trying to be very, very stable. So the rational intelligence is trying to be stable. So this is not necessarily... The, the greatest position, in my opinion, in today's modern times, right? This is basically the symbolic equivalence of, like, a really nerdy kid. Like, you know, just, like, nerdy people who are not trying to, like, take risks or do anything outside of their comfort zone. You could say, to, to an extent, just a general extent, you can just leave it like this, right? But, like, overdoing it, right? J taking calculated risks or stuff like that that's different that's like virgo-ish kind of thing but taurus is just like not like just really reserved in your shell right um so that's that now you could notice the reason why i brought up the point about the sun is that you could notice that for example when mercury is in taurus you don't necessarily feel like you're in your shell completely and that's because you have to look at the sun's placement let me give you a quick example for Right now, Mercury's in Aries, right? But Sun is in Taurus. So your identity, your ego, which is Sun, it feels very stable, okay? But Mercury is in Aries trying to do new things and stuff like that. So, for example, I'll just give you a personal example. Taurus is not I mean, Sun is in Taurus. So for me, I've been really trying to get back on my gym routine ever since my... I had a um, minor back injury i pulled the back muscle okay that's why i might be a little looking a little skinnier in this video okay i dropped like 30 pounds i already put back on 10 pounds but point is point is the so my son in taurus is trying to get me to get back on that stable routine now that mercury in aries it's kind of like okay because my son in Taurus, because like i said mercury kind of serves the sun to an extent so because the Taurus is, the Sun and Taurus is trying to get me to be on that stable routine and the stable diet and all that, Mercury's trying to do its thing also. So it's like, okay, yeah, I'm getting on a steady diet, but Mercury's trying to try new things maybe in my diet or new things maybe in my workout routine to become better, right? To have a more stable diet or it's trying to do new workout things to prevent another injury or whatever, right? So that's kind of that. Now, when Mercury goes into Taurus, right? So Sun... Um, for the second half of this transit, it's going into Gemini, right? So your actual identity is trying to expand, right? So I kind of already have a feeling of how this might play out. Let's just say for me, I haven't really jumped back into basketball too much yet, right? So my my Mercury in Gemini, I mean, sorry, excuse me, my son in Gemini or people in general, like you could try to, your identity could try to expand into new things. So it's like, not new things, but just expand. So it's like, okay, I'm going to try, you know, uh, working out or swimming or like I used to or stuff like that, right? Now, my Mercury in Taurus is basically going to make it so that when you do those things, your rational intelligence is very reserved. So when I play basketball, I might be a little bit more reserved when I play because this is kind of something that I'm starting while Sun's in Gemini, right? So I hope that kind of made sense. This is where you kind of really have to look at the whole flow, right? I know I always say this, you got to look at the whole flow, but it's true because you need to, you can't just pinpoint. I know I make these videos in like isolated, like Mercury and the sun and this, whatever, right? But I always try to touch on other points because all the other points are important. I just title the videos the way they do and talk about them just to kind of explain the points and certain ways because individually isolating the energies is also important right that's why i kind of explained to you this mercury and sun thing going on here and how this could kind of relate in your life right but yeah i just wanted to make that um known now one other thing is that 
who who rules Taurus? That is Venus, right? Venus is in Cancer, which is not necessarily a horrible placement, right? But it is with Mars, and it is getting very closer to Mars throughout this transit, especially in going towards the end, end of Cancer, getting closer and closer to Mars, and Mars is getting more and more debilitated. Now, I have made other videos on... Um, like you can watch my Mars debilitated in Cancer video or my Venus in Cancer transit. I discuss these energies in Cancer more specifically, but the fact that Venus, who is Taurus's lord, is here is also going to affect this Mercury, right? Now you might be wondering, okay, well, how is it going to affect this Mercury? So I just kind of said how it's playing out, right? The when Mercury is in Taurus, it's kind of reserved. Now when Sun goes into Gemini, yeah, sure, you still might be. Your identity might be kind of expanding and doing things, new th like other things, but they're doing those things in a reserved way, kind of. I'm just going to leave it at that for a very general sense. Now, what the Venus could do, or how it's kind of going to impact it here, is that, so Venus rules Taurus, right? So you could say all the Taurus's energies, it's functioning to fulfill the energies of Cancer, right? That's why the Venus, who is Taurus's Lord, is in Cancer. So Cancer represents what? Nourishment, comforts, things like that. So you could find that even though you're being reserved, right? Because like, like from a Mercury standpoint, or even in general, because for the first half of this transit, Sun's in Taurus also. Even though you might be reserved, especially throughout the end of this transit, because Sun leaves um Taurus and Mer like I said Venus is getting closer and closer to Mars you could feel that yeah you, you might be reserved in all this kind of stuff in what you do or even the new things you kind of start doing or what you expand into doing um it's not quite possibly giving you the comfort that you would like possibly right you need to look at everything okay like your dashes and things like that but at a very general sense because this transit happening in the sky you, you you will notice this in some way, shape, or form, okay? Uh, specifics and all this kind of stuff, you need to look at Dutchess, obviously, and your natal placements, right? But just in general, for everyone, how the flavor slightly changes, this is how it slightly changes, okay? And why is that going to happen? Why is that Mercury when, you know, it's looking for that stability, it's trying to enhance that stability, but it's not quite giving the comforts that you might expect? Well, that's because of Venus's harsh, close proximity with a debilitated Mars, a strongly debilitated Mars in Cancer, okay? So, um, yeah, that's why. Uh, and we know, I've touched on this in my Mars and Cancer video, but when we know when Mars is in Cancer, it throws a seventh and eighth aspect on both the Saturn signs. So it affects your Saturn, and Saturn is retrograde in its own main sign of Aquarius. So it's really hampering your Saturn. So Mercury and Saturn, for those of you guys who haven't watched my Upacha videos, but Upacha video, the they are the planets that govern free will. So the fact that they're both a little bit hampered here by this Mars uh, means that your efforts overall in general uh, could be a little bit frustrating. Okay, but I'm kind of going to leave it at that for this video. I don't want this video to be too long just for a two and a half week transit, right? Um, so I think that's going to be it for this video. If you have any questions or comments as usual, you can let me know. Thank you all for watching. I'll talk to everyone later. Thank you.